me and my friend ZTT saw that there was uh, a teaser for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. So we are going to react to it and then we're going to, for a little bit, talk about it. And just like, because it's only a 47 minute video, a second video. So it shouldn't take that long. So I figured we might as well discuss a little bit about it. So yeah, let's get started. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to make sure that like everything on volume is working. All right, let's watch this. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, where okay. fantasy and Sanchi Foxy. Yeah. Hit it, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, those are cool designs. If you oh. Oh. Video, oh, close. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh. Night guard? As Freddy's those are good designs, card. though. Those look actually real. I hate the gloves Freddy on Freddy. Hello? I feel like the gloves on Freddy don't work. We're going to have so yeah. much oh. fun together. Oh. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Where the kids? Where the kids? Shaggy! <laughs> Why into the pit? What the? Oh no! Oh, oh, Bonnie! Freddy! Oh god! Dun, 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 dun. Okay, October 27th. That's too long. That's too long, bro. I feel like this movie could be out within the next few, like, weeks. But we have to wait till October. That kind of sucks, but it's yeah. worth the wait, honestly. Yeah. So hold this up, let's like looks full on. let's like run this down a little bit because this was kind of confusing at first. So we got this girl saying that we'll that we're like the new night guard. Sanchi Foxy, by the way, that that this kid, he's a cool kid. Kid, go to go to go to kid. Right cool there. kid, right there. Cool kid, cool kid. That's a cool, also they have a cool foosball kid. table. I don't know who likes foosball, but okay. <laughs> so there's a button that just says Showtime, like in the VR game. Yeah. Which I think is kind of cool. It's a cool idea. Yeah. yeah. Why are Freddy's eyebrows Freddy so surprised? So Freddy looks this very. This part scary. just reminds you of those old, like those like scary FNAF VHS tapes that people used to make in SFM. Yeah, like the scary SFM VHS tapes, yeah. Except the yeah. characters look so real that it almost feels like I could go to this place. Like, this almost feels like a real pizza place. It would be it would be a really cool place to go, honestly. I would go... I feel like I will... Like, if Scott ever actually made a FNAF restaurant, they would, they would make bank. Honestly, for real, <laughs> quick bank. Also, closed. I like I like the the closed sign because it's very clearly supposed to reference like fast food signs. Like when you yeah. go to McDonald's, it's got like, well, not McDonald's, but when you go to like Burger King, like new bacon cheese Whopper, but instead it's just closed. Which I don't get why the the Z, the, the O is red, but okay. Uh, I like the fact that this definitely looks like a real location. Like, they uh, definitely put a lot of work into cinematography. Like, yeah, this feels like... Thing, it's, remember, put, cin put cinematography in your videos. Yeah, I don't know thing. why, but at this point, uh, the like, the sign frame almost looks CGI'd in. But I think that's just the lighting or something. Cause it's definitely not. I feel like there's no point in CGIing that in. Is that is yeah. that how you say it? CGIing. I don't know. CGIing. I feel like that's not a way to say it, but sure, we're gonna go. With I feel like that's not the way you're supposed to say it, but whatever. I want to know yeah, who this. We have our night guard boys. I want to know who that is. Like, is it a character that we know? Is it Mike Schmidt? Is it uh, Jeremy Fitzgerald? Or is he just like a random dude? Or is he? Is or is it like Nicolas Cage in uh, Willy's Wonderland, where it's just a random oh. person? Random dude. Like obviously, it's definitely not like the Nicolas Cage in that movie, where he just beats up robots. <clears throat> also, can we talk about how this chica looks like those church windows, like the glass pane church it's, windows? Why does that look like that? That actually does remind me of that. Oh. And then, the, once again, props to the people that made these. These are not CGI. It's amazing to me that those are fully practical animatronics. 
And they look just like they're from the game. Also, the cupcake is awesome. This... Cake, uh, cake, I said cake, cake. Okay, so this, awesome. is, so this is red Fazbear. <laughs> uh, I'm not a big fan of Freddy with gloves. It's okay, though. Yeah, it's okay. I don't really have a problem with it. It doesn't really bother me like other people, I'm being I'm, honest. I might make a plush of Freddy with gloves. Just Freddy with gloves. I just, buy, I just buy another Freddy, make it game accurate, and then give it gloves. Gloves. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new uh, FNAF custom plush re review. Today, I just made my uh, Freddy have gloves. Uh, FNAF movie acting. <laughs> Freddy with gloves from the FNAF movie. Yeah, and, you know, you know first, him, you love him. <laughs> when I saw Freddy with gloves on like the front thing, I thought that they were gonna give Freddy gloves in the movie, and I was but like, and I was like, why would why would Scott give Freddy gloves? That makes no sense. <laughs> I saw, like, original teasers for the FNAF movie, like, way back in, like, 2019. I thought for sure I saw a Funtime Foxy work in progress, but that was probably just Foxy. Because I don't see why they would add sister location. It's kind of sad that this is going to be, like, a one-time movie. Yeah. That's cool, but, like, it, and it's definitely a different take on The Office, since it's not exact, and it's definitely, like, it's not an exact replica of The Office, and it's not, like, an exact replica of the, of the cameras, because there was no outside cameras in, like, any of the FNAF games, from what I remember, there was no outside cameras. Like, there was cameras definitely outside of your room, but there was never any cameras pointing to outside. Which makes me wonder if we'll ever see the FNAF characters outside. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so that's cool. Janitor's closet. Let's see if we can find, like, any references. References. I'm just like making sure. Like, uh, okay, so. Mm. Oh, oh no, Freddy. Freddy okay, no. this. This. Are these supposed okay. to be spring locks? Wait, wait, if you kind of look at it, that it look, I think that is supposed to be like, look, it looks like it has a jaw and everything in the eyes. Yeah, it's, it's an animatronic. Is it yeah, supposed to be just a random torture mask? Or is it supposed to be spring locks? Cause... That's spring locks, and I I couldn't I couldn't do that. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, like, I don't, I, 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 it it I, seems I don't think... unrealistic for spring locks though, because I don't think spring locks are just buzz saws attached to a f spare Freddy head. Yeah. Maybe this is just like a random torture device. Which makes no sense. Like I I'm still gonna love this movie, but in this case, this makes no sense. Because until, I don't until the movie somehow finds a way to like make it make sense, but until yeah, but then, like we've never seen sense. torture devices in the games though. Yeah. At least I mean I guess spring locks themselves would be torture devices, but the I don't think these are spring locks. At first, when I first saw the 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 teaser, I thought these are spring locks, but no, these cannot be spring locks because why would why would the company endorse saw blades so close to your face? Yeah, I I, I don't I don't think that uh, I don't think Fazbear Entertainment would like have intentions of murdering their own employees. And that's just a hit. sure way. Like I don't think mechanics require saw blades around the mechanics. I feel like yeah. that would just break it. Yeah, I think that would make a couple people leave too. Also, can I are say you kill me? these eyes are incredibly bright, by the way. Like those are like painted on, but they're still so red. Like, like hold up, let's see these in action really quickly. Like that, that, that cannot oh. be spring locks. If it, like that's not William Afton. I'm pretty sure that's like keep this guy's face in mind. Keep this guy's face in mind.
Isn't that just him? I think that's just him. Yeah. I guess. Foxy. Yeah. Okay, so hold up. We need to like this. Let's mm. break this down. So I I, I haven't so... really gotten a good look at the shack. Okay, so that's supposed to be Shaggy, the the guy that played Shaggy. He doesn't. Also, there was like the entire point of the story is like it happened inside of a place, like inside of Fazbear's. But this is just a random pine tree forest. Like this could have happened I by know, my. I don't know what this is supposed to be mean. Like this this could have been my house. Like I have pine tree forests near my house. This just looks like royal rural Florida, bro. But but hold up, let let's narrow this down. We know that that is Jeremy. We know that. Yeah. Because yeah. because you know Jeremy possesses Bonnie. Susie possesses Chica. That's obviously her because she's wearing yellow and she's like the only girl I think. Yeah, she's the only girl. So yeah, that's definitely Chica. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. So, uh -oh. next, I think that might be Foxy. Yeah. But then, who would... That guy could be Freddy, since he has the top hat. But then that would make that Golden Freddy, and I'm not sure if that's Golden Freddy. I think that's Golden Freddy, and that's Freddy. If I had to make assumptions. I mean, there's not a whole lot to choose from. There's five kids, there's five animatronics that we know of. But that honestly leads to the question, I wonder how Golden Freddy is going to play out, because that is honestly going to be cool. And then honest, and then Springtrap is what he's supposed to be. Oh, yeah, Springtrap. I saw, like, teasers for the way he's supposed to look. I wonder, I wonder if it's going to, like, happen halfway through the movie. But then you gotta wonder, are the toys gonna be implemented at all? Like, the toys, the the phantoms, the withereds. Like, you gotta wonder, are any of these gonna be in there? Or are we gonna see the crying child, or Elizabeth, or any of this stuff? Like, this hopefully, is just... Hopefully we'll get, it like, a second trailer. Like, this isn't even close to the full teaser. This is just, like... This is a 47 second video. This isn't even close to the full movie. And we already know so much. But yeah, I think that's Bonnie, that's Freddy, that's Foxy, that's Chica, and that's Cassidy, or aka Golden Freddy. I mean, I can't really think of who else it would be because that guy's got bunny ears and she's wearing yellow. We'll, we'll, pro we'll probably look at it. I we'll probably talk about this after the video, but yeah, yeah, we'll just talk about this after. I ha I had like a I, I had a thought in my head, but yeah, let's just continue. With no, let's mind. hear it. Let's hear it. Wait. So, what was that? Wasn't there like a? So wasn't there like a little like a little teaser thing with like it was like a kid and then like a it was either Freddy or something else like standing in front of the building. What was that? Was that? I, I don't. Just had a thought if I, was... <coughs> I, I honestly like, don't like know. A... I do remember that, but I'm not sure who that kid could have been though. I don't know well, if that was a teaser, well, is... or if that was just like a little fun thing that they did. I don't know. That could obviously be misleading. Scott loves to mislead people. You've seen by game theory already, because he doesn't want people to solve the lore. And you see, the thing you is, you know what? Not not. This movie isn't going to bring out any obvious lore plot points. Because it's just going to be like... Because it's only showing, at the very least, the first three games, as we know of. Or at least FNAF 1 and FNAF 3, because of Springtrap. But obviously, it's not going to show much lore that we don't already know. But let's also but, but say I've... this... I didn't know that uh, Jeremy, the one that possesses Bonnie, I didn't know that he was African-American. That is one thing that we never knew. That's one new thing, I guess. I mean, it's not like it's going to help the lore, but it's still an interesting thing to learn. You know, since Bonnie's my favorite character. Yeah. yeah. 
that's a little bit of ZTT lore for you. Yeah. <laughs> and then they run. That's what I don't understand. So is it like he pulls out a knife and like then they start running? Like a memory or something? Is this like a... Who is this? like a flashback? I, William F. Is this Henry? Or William? I don't think it's Who William. Knows? William, I feel... Because that... Because they never said that they... Because that's... That's not the guy that plays Shaggy. I know that. Unless they really tried... Like, they never said that old William was going to be a thing. I think that's Henry. Quite yeah, honestly, yeah. I think that's Henry. Or like... I guess we... Wait, hold on. There's like diplomas in the back. He's like some sort of like maybe psychologist. Or like a doctor... I think he might be he might be a psychologist cuz this is like lamps and like books and a coat rack and then his diplomas on the like that's not usual like where how a doctor's office would be. Usually it's got like medical equipment. So I think that this is a psychologist. If I had to give like a guess, I would say it's a psychologist. Uh, like, seeing the night guard, maybe? Or maybe the parents of the murdered children? Yeah, maybe, maybe he's seeing the night guard, because maybe the night guard's, like, having these weird flashbacks about the kids, maybe? Maybe that was... Maybe? Maybe. maybe possibly. Or maybe it could be tying in FNAF 4, and he has to go... Mm. A and it's the kid... It's William's kid having to go to therapy to deal with his nightmares. However, in the games, it was kind of confirmed that the nightmares happened in a coma. Yeah. And like I said, I'm pretty oh. sure this is a psychologist, not a regular doctor. Yeah. Or it could be diplomas for something else. You never know. Yeah. There's, there's many different ways to get a diploma. Also, uh, I, I mean, I need to point out this other thing that kind of weird to me what is he doing now Wait, what what is he doing in this I, shot purple guy I also i'm i'm 99 percent sure this is purple guy right if so why is he wearing no badge and nothing purple i don't know maybe he's just you know i mean i know i know that it's like cool. It's not confirmed that he wore purple to the occasion, but, like, yeah. it, we know that he had to have a badge. I mean, he worked there. Maybe, maybe, maybe this guy is just in the wilderness with some normal clothes on. Like a normal person. Also, I'm wondering what this is. Oh! Ooh, oh no. That's Foxy. Yeah. That's a good foxy. Okay, this could this is a reference to Into the Pit. Like that's a clear reference to Into the Pit. Cause like it's like, like, like hold up. Like like right there, that's just what the Into the Pit rabbit does. Half head halfway peeking out. Like obviously it's not a reference to it though. Also, why are they hunting down kids? Because that was a you kid. Know? Why it, you know? I, I just can't wait for when the actual movie comes out. So much stuff will be, like, answered. Me neither. Like, this is honestly going to be one of the best movies in the world. I'm convinced. This better get more money than the Super Mario movie, even though you know that. Dead Meat? You know, like, the people that do kill counts? I really yeah, hope. Dead meat, please, please, uh, please do a kill count on this once you can. Like I know that you can't do it as soon as the movie comes out. Like I know, yeah, like I'm pretty right. sure you need like the movie on Blu-ray or something. So yeah. like as soon as it gets on Blu-ray or whatever, please do a kill count of this. We need a Five Nights at Freddy's kill count, dude. Like literally. Even though we could probably figure out the kills on our own, since I feel as if. Uh, Scott isn't gonna be more focused on the kills. He's most likely gonna be focused on, like, the story. Yeah. Because usually, Scott's not about, like... Like, in his games, he's not trying to go all out for murder. It's more he's trying to go for, like, just 
a creepy atmosphere and more lore and story. More lore and story driven. So obviously it's gonna have some horror aspects, but I don't think that it's going to be like solely I don't think, based I don't think on he's gonna lore. go too far. No, because Scott's never really been one for gratuitous gore. Especially in like his like his uh especially like in the the series obviously like we've seen the games there's never like an abundance of blood or gore like the goriest scene that we've ever seen in the FNAF movies was when the night guard gets stuffed in FNAF 1 as like the game over screen that's the only one we've really ever seen which going back to that actually that could be that could be what this is that could be I'm not saying it is but it could be but yeah I think that's really all I have to say overall good trailer great movie can't wait for it to come out October 27th I'm gonna I'm gonna love it. We FNAF fans have waited for this movie for so long, and it's finally coming out. So honestly, when it comes out, I'm gonna be hyped to watch it. I might go go to a theater and watch it. I don't know, but who knows? Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Like, what goes on? Quite honestly, I'm excited for it. What do you think, CTT? Oh. Well, I, I guess CTT can't really say anything. I don't know. Is it, like, something going on? Hold up. <clears throat> so, ZTT. Alright, well, uh, I was going to end this off with ZTT, but I guess he's gone. Uh, Alright, everybody, I hope you guys have a uh, good rest of your day. Uh, bye. Okay, so actually, ZTT's phone died, and he came back. So, ZTT, you want to do a quick yeah. little outro? Mm -hmm. Alright, well, mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed our review of the FNAF movie. Overall, mm -hmm. I thought it was a good movie. Also, ZTT, while you were gone, I came up with, like, another little t tidbit theory, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, possibly that, like, Springlock thing that we thought were Springlocks at first. That could be, like, a reference to, like, uh, in FNAF 1 when they get stuffed in the suit as a game over. Yes. Ooh. So, okay. yeah, that could be something, I guess. Um, so leave your ideas or theories in the comments for what you think's going on in the, in the movie. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We certainly enjoyed reacting to this and, like, giving our ideas and information. So, yes. uh, have a good rest of y'all's day, evening, afternoon, night. And, yeah. uh, we'll see you all next time. And all, and always remember, Bonnie is peak character. Bonnie is best FNAF character. Can't tell me otherwise.